Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today is quite a special video as I have finally got my custom made muscle cuirass. Uh, I got measured for this um, the end of June, so it's about five months ago now. And this was made for me by Rob at Thack Ironworks over in Toronto. And I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. I'd highly recommend going and checking him out. He's incredibly talented at what he does and he's done video tutorials of how he's made actually a full hoplite panoply. Not necessarily quite historically accurate. Um, but still a really cool uh, video series to go and check out. I'd highly recommend the link uh, just in the description box below. So this particular muscle cuirass is based roughly off of this design. I just really liked this uh, sort of look to it. And it's not a 100% copy. As you can see, there's a few little proportion things that are different, uh, mainly with this section here. Um, there will also be some close-ups as well. And um, you've already seen the little sort of... Uh, showcase at the start of the video. So it's about one millimeter thick brass um, and it's made in a very historical way. The material isn't historical but also most modern bronze isn't like ancient bronze anyway um, and I'm not really that fussed on sort of the material the arm is made of. You know this is made not necessarily with period accurate tools but it's all made with like hammering and blacksmithing equipment not like factory pressed or anything like that like some of the very cheap, more typically Indian made um, armors. Um, I have been saving a long time for this, um, really since I started working, which has been about a year and a half now. Um, so this will set you back roughly 3,000 Canadian dollars, which I'll put sort of the USD and uh, pound um, conversion at the top. Um, lots of people say that is ridiculously expensive, you could buy a car with it. You know, uh, my brothers say that as well, they, well, you could have bought a car with it. I'm like, well, you know, this is sort of my passion is ancient Greece and I sort of want to buy where sort of my heart wants me to. So uh, that's what I spend my money on anyway. There are a few bits that I would personally like slightly different as always with most pieces of armour. Uh, I will get some close-ups of them as well. One of them is there is a slight crack on just under one of the... Um, sort of attachment points, uh, which I, as far as I'm aware, is usually done when the metal is slightly stressed too much. Um, there was a fitting issue with this muscle cross, which is to be expected to me, to be honest, as uh, I live in Ottawa, he lives in Toronto, it's about a five and a half hour drive for me to get to him, so obviously I couldn't really frequently drive there to get measured, just for corrections. So there was a slight little run-in where it didn't fit um, and I think he had to remake the entire back plate and possibly alter some parts of the front. Anyway, but now it fits. And uh, as I said, five months is, isn't really that much to wait for a custom made piece. And it is still a very, very nice job. One complaint I have as well is the helmet is a different color brass to the muscle cuirass. Um, it's not that bad when you're in natural lighting conditions. Um, which is when, like, for reenactments and stuff it will be. Um, and I guess it was a difficult thing. Uh, I will also, hopefully, at some point, um, go back to Rob for some custom-made leg greaves. Um, and that will hopefully be made of the same material. And one day, not in a massive rush, but I want to get a historically made one from Manning Imperial, um, which is appears to be more like this colour brass. Right now, my greaves are these more... Um, archaic styled, um, they're not bad quality but they're very flimsy and when I kneel down they dent and they're just not the nicest greaves. They're fine um, but I personally really like anatomical greaves and I want to get those to sort of finish off this whole um, uh, I guess sort of early classical era hoplite sort of 500 BC era. Um, really like that sort of aesthetic there. Uh, it's a very historically done fitting system using pins and um, little ringlets but you'd usually tie leather of some sort. Uh, the way that the top shoulder is attached is slightly different to how I've seen um, a majority of the um, historical artifacts. However, I do think I have seen something resembling this where the back plate actually goes up through the front plate and there's a pin going front to back as opposed to I think most I've seen is just essentially done like the side um, 
uh, piece. So as I did mention earlier, there was a slight part that I would like just slightly adjusted. It's not a big deal to me. Uh, it's just here. I think that this is slightly too, slightly too tall and should be about halfway. And I think that maybe the abs should be pushed up slightly and the stomach be pushed up slightly. I'm not entirely sure. And it is a really minor thing. Um, overall though, this muscle cross is incredibly well made. It looks so good. It fits me really well. It really does just sort of complete the Spartan aesthetic that I want. Um, I will put it on for you, of course, and I'll quickly show you right now how sort of the pins and everything work and how they attach. There is also just one spot here where he actually had to file this piece down and it's a little bit messy but it gets hidden when the pin's in so again it's not really that big of a deal. Here's some close-ups of sort of the more intricate details so here's one of the nipples and here is the belly button. Really the, the detail on all of these abs and all of these little like rib indents stuff like that it is just really really cool and really amazing and it's better than anything that I really could have thought there. Um, the edge here, it's uh, not rolled, it's just bent out. Uh, that's because most of the historical ones that I've seen of the Greek period uh, aren't rolled edges. And I also find that these catch blades or spearheads better uh, than rolled edges. Right, so I'm going to go and get someone to help me put this on, as it is a quite difficult thing to put on by yourself. I can almost do it, um, but it's just sort of the one side you can't quite get, so you have to press it together. But I'll be back in just one second. Right, so here it is on, and as you can see, it fits really nicely, and you actually have a lot of really good movement, and it moves a lot nicer than the Linothorax, which I am actually going to do a video on Muscle Crest versus Linothorax um, at some point. Um, if it's really nice, you can like go down to actually like tie a shoe and stuff like that, which I could not do with my Linothorax. Um, I do need to make some perigays for these, which are like the leather or linen bands that go down as my Linothorax has them built in, this one uh, obviously doesn't. It really is just such a nice piece. Um, you know, it fits really nicely. Uh, really do recommend, if you possibly can, to go to like blacksmiths or someone that can, an armorer that can actually custom fit stuff to you, because it really is a massive difference. This is my second piece of armor now that's actually built to my size, the first one being the Linothorax. And it makes such a such a difference to the sort of uh, off the shelf um, cheaper ones. Obviously, the price is massively higher, um, and you know, obviously, you should do with what what you find comfortable and what you you can personally afford, or what you want to um, how much you want to spend on it, regarding of the price. Such a lovely piece. As I said again, go and check out Black Ironworks on YouTube. Um, this is sort of just a little showcase of this particular piece. I will plan on do, doing probably um, my eighth year special of collecting armour where hopefully I will have made the perigates and stuff like that where I show off the whole kit. Um, I will definitely be doing a Muscle Caress versus the Thorax video. Um, and yeah, it, it's really nice, fits lovely. Uh, I do need to get some leather ties as well just for the little ringlets. Um, but apart from that guys, this is sort of the video of this. Um, massive thanks to TAC for building this and in five months it is also a very short amount of time in the grand scheme of things. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already uh, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. If you wouldn't mind checking out the video that will come up just after I go, I'd greatly appreciate that. Have a great day.